Well, I've rarely uttered these two words together ever since they were bastards and stole my idea without compensating oh. me. But Hot Pockets yep. is making news today. You don't often think of Hot Pockets as a dangerous weapon other than them burning the roof of your mouth. But that did. Sorry. Oh my God! They're killing Dave. They're killing Dave. He's not allowed. He can't talk about hot pockets. Dave can't choking. even do it. He gets That's all right. choked up. Natural yeah. reaction. It's all I choked just up. When I think of a hot mm-hmm. pocket, yeah. yeah. He's, he's almost throwing wow. up. Wow. But that did not stop this man. <laughs> Police in the Boston area are looking for a guy who went to a corner market, grabbed a hot pocket from the fridge, and hurled it at the clerk behind the counter. Hmm. The guy apparently got upset because the clerk asked to see his ID before selling him smokes. Okay. Another customer witnessed the hot pocket assault and told the assailant to chill out, dude. But then they started fighting. And the hot pocket guy pulled out a knife, a pocket knife. He loves anything pocket. Yeah. (laughs) And he threatened the customer with it. Yeah. They were able to get the bad guy out of the market, lock the doors, and call the cops. No one was injured by the hot pocket or the pocket knife. Mm. As far as we know, the guy is still on the run, though. I mean, well, I'd they rather check the pocketbook that he dropped. Right. <laughs> you still see a lot of hot pockets commercials. I don't. No. I feel like they really failed and fell off. I but don't see no. them anymore. They don't see anything. Any no. Hot pockets did kind of, I think, lose some popularity. I think they did. Yeah, I don't think they're good. they're not marketing like they were. Maybe it's, they probably have trouble living with themselves after what they did. Yeah, they know what they did. They right? know what they did. They know what they did. They I sang a new jingle on the air. They completely stole it, took my idea, and offered me some hot pockets for giveaways as right. compensation. Yep. I should have sued their asses. I should have. I, know. I, I said know. that it's at too the time. Late. I know you did, you but should've. I just thought it would just be such a hassle. It I and it would have back on them. Oh, you like did? Before I met you guys, I ate hot pockets all the time. And yeah. I was like, no. I yeah, a lot of people turn their backs Thanks, on them. Man. Yeah, yeah, no I, yeah. I, I turned my back on them, too. I don't like them because of that. I got bad vibes. Yeah, I definitely kept eating them. No, yeah, of course you um, did. Of course you did. You probably bought more. <laughs> kept eating them. Probably bought more. Probably, he made up for all you guys. After they did that to Dave was probably the time I bought them the most. Um, <laughs> I don't really eat them anymore, though. They're not in my... I mean, they really no. did steal that Oh, idea. they really yeah. did. It's, it's yeah. almost it's word diabolical. for word. Almost word for word. It's diabolical. And they admitted it by offering the Hot Pocket. Yes, they oh, did. Yeah. So uh, the lawyer, uh, lawyers reached out and was like, it's right there. You got it in an email. And I did. Yeah. But, dude, yep. stupidly, I, I didn't pursue it. I mean. And now they probably don't have enough money did, to give me. Well, yeah, well, yeah. that's right. I, did we look up how much they had? They got the money. Yeah, they're they part got of the big money. conglomeration. Yeah, they got the money. That's big pocket you're talking about. Yeah, you're right. Oh uh, yeah, four billion. <laughs> they got the money. Four billion, dude. I'd, uh, yeah. I'd oh know. yeah. I was gonna say, you will sign up for uh, <laughs> like a you know like one of those uh, claims. Two hundred dollars. Yeah. The family who created Hot Pockets has a net worth of four billion dollars. One of the richest families we in America. We not be talking about this now anymore. I think we need to let it go because I know we really it's been a long time, money. right? I mean, uh, it's, it's just crazy that, that I actual, see it, four billion. Actual lawyers were like, you probably should. But lawyers will tell I you. I mean, that it was because they dry. wanted to cut. Yeah, we right. did it. We even that. you even probably said trademark Dave and Chuck the Freak. I did. Um, it, we right had, we after had proof. It. We had audio. Oh my god, of we it. had it forever. Yes. We don't anymore. Probably. I no, remember we do. seeing that I'm commercial sure and I was like, ah! <laughs> oh, what yeah. kind of world is this? <laughs> yeah, and they didn't even get it right. No, they did it. They they stole the idea and then like probably sat in a focus group and screwed it all up. Real bad. I think yeah. we did a uh, peep show about it, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, I somebody, we did. There is a um, like so another user put up like the whole segment from the show, you know, oh, so that like, yeah. you can relive what happened. Oh, I had them put. To, I had them put yeah, down. This guy. Oh yeah, <laughs> I had that person put down. <laughs> did you have them put down? <laughs> mm-hmm. They're just stealing our content. God. How about your sandwiches at the protein and fuel to fire you up? Hot, hot air, Oh my god. Yeah, that was my jingle. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's a thousand. Did you say something about hot ham and cheese? Yeah. Yeah. I said check it remember. and see. Yeah, check oh, it and they see. changed the words a bit, but it was. Man, they just stole it. They from stole you. the whole idea. They I really wanted did. them. They really did. Should have sued them. Ten years ago, huh? Yeah, that's the problem. 
Yeah. Wow, that was a long time ago. What's the um, years and years ago on the show? Can. I wonder if here. Yeah, you likely more. I do my well, version of it though. Hot pockets phase, and I had like the breakfast hot pocket. What happens? Hot pockets. There you go. And so I'm oh, like, God, no. that's brilliant. That they should use that jingle. Yeah. So anyway, time went by. Pockets. I've had it for years. You should t- for a new commercial. Hot pockets. You should. Anyway, can't yeah. believe we're reliving this. This is so devastating. It is. I mean, Dave could have like a like a Bezos yacht. I know. That's <laughs> yeah, the, he loves the water. He yeah. Never got. Like now, think about the Don't. boat. Hot no, no, no. Just, money. No, honestly, l- honestly, no, no. Hold on. Imagine yeah, the boat Dave could have had. Versus the boat that Dave will end up with. The oh. SS Pockets? Yeah, yeah. the SS <laughs> Pockets would have been amazing. Someone said the best part of the whole thing, Lisa's like, the real question is, what do you do? Because I'm not involved. Then you found out how much they were worth, and you're like, so what do we do about this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trademark Dave and Chuck the Freak. <laughs> What are we going to do about this, Dave? Uh, <laughs> oh. Yikes. Yep. Listen, they have so much money, there's enough to go around. We could all have boats. Yep. We could have all had boats. We could have been giving out boats. Boats, boats, boats. I mean, we dropped the ball on that one, Dave. Yeah, we did. Especially when a lawyer was like, because the lawyer was like, oh, man, I could get a great boat from this, too. Yeah. And, uh, like, it's cut and dry. It was so cut and dry that it was just like a marketing, a stolen marketing idea. Like With they, no compensation. They Not admitted at all. it on Twitter. They really yes. did. They did. And I kept it all. I kept out. You had like, all the proof. I printed out everything in case they took it down. Yeah. I still have the folder, I believe. Dude, I still should... have a Hot Pockets folder. Oh, you gotta just I wonder how long you can wait. Up, that folder. I yeah, I was going to say, I wonder how People long you can People are saying there's no time limit. Yeah, they stole your idea, dude. It's Hot Pockets. Do you think that there's a room of people at Hot Pockets that are like, he could, he could do it at any time? Like, they know what they've done. No, they, they didn't take them no. serious because they just offered Hot Pockets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hundreds of Hot yeah. Pockets well, as giveaways. Yeah. They, they were like, some serious. radio guy. They were like, yeah. some radio guy. Well, that was like, a legal <laughs> thing, them offering you that, because if you take that, then I, there's no that's case why I didn't, yeah. I didn't do anything with right. it, right? Because someone said that to me, too. Then I'm like, that basically is them saying, well, you took the Hot Pockets as payoff. Yeah, exactly. She said, no, I want money. I love the idea of a check. huge court case that involves yeah. Hot Pockets, Foreigner. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It yeah. would make the news. It would, it would make the news. That's the yeah. craziest. Ten I, years ago, yeah. radio host had his idea stolen. Like, honestly, they pockets. are sweating it, I bet, still, if there's no time limit on if that. If there's no time limit, they know what they did. They were like, and the problem is, there was probably, like, uh, uh, someone involved who somehow listened to our show. And they ran it up the chain, but the the higher ups didn't realize where that guy got the idea. So they were like, "Oh my God, it's great!" He was the one who did it. So they would try and send him down the road. They probably fired him already. Al's gonna for there's so many people that were not a part of the show when this happened, and and Al's gonna play a little recap here. So go ahead, Al. Yeah, all right. Previously on Dave and Chuck the Freak, I did my own version of the Hot Pockets jingle. Hot Pockets actually got back to us. They thought it was a great idea and basically said, "Let us know if you get the rights to the song." Foreigners publicist got word, and they want to get in touch with Hot Pockets to try and make it happen. No way. Yeah. Yes, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> if this this is going to be a huge hit for Hot Pockets. That's Maybe they bring dude. me on stage yeah. and do it live. You just get this I'll get to tour with them, and I'll sing it live with them. Hot Pockets, bum boys, check it and see. Ooh. Every minute, a year's <laughs> worth of Hot Pockets starts to look better and better. <laughs> So, so that was my excitement, right? Yeah. When they acknowledged my idea and then foreigners people commented on the tweet and were like, we, we're in, we think it's great. Well, yeah, foreigners like, we did money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they did. But okay, so here's the other question then. Was it foreigner that really bent you over and plowed you? No, it's because Hot Pockets is the one that but like, set it up. They have to pay. No, but if foreigner oh. called Hot Pockets and they were like, hey, listen, here's an idea. You use our song to sell Hot Pockets. Just check this out. Hot Pockets! And then, and then they were like, whoa! That's great! Yeah. 
<laughs> Poor Nave, guy. man. It, it, this was so big at the time for us that we have three different previously oh on my. Oh, I bet. We've got the answer from Hot Pockets and then <laughs> Dave a little salt in the wound when he found out it went international. Oh, yeah. Yep. So let's hear the follow-up of where I was devastated then, I guess. Previously <laughs> on Dave and Chuck the Freak. I, for years, have thought that the folks at Hot Pockets should take foreigners hot-blooded and turn it into a brand new ad campaign. I did make contact with the Hot Pockets people. One of three scenarios played out. They're stealing my idea for a jingle. They're using my idea for their new ad campaign, or they're using my idea, I'm not getting paid, but I will be appearing in their commercials with Foreigner. Which one do you think it is? I think it's uh, number two that you will get paid. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they <laughs> are so stealing positive. my idea. <laughs> what? And I'm no. not getting paid. Wait, wait a second. What? <laughs> Son of a goddamn bitch! <laughs> 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 Sorry, yep. Dave. <laughs> yep. I was so positive than that. Yeah. Oh, you were. You're like, you're gonna get paid. Your dreams are gonna come <laughs> true. Because that's life. And money, life... money, money, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna work out. You found the only song in all of songs that Hot Pockets can use. I know. I know. And then they, they oh god, and it just irks me that it was so terrible, the end product. Right, because I think yeah. they realized they had to change it so much, they thought, to try and avoid any yeah. they couldn't use all my lyrics. Nope. But that's, I, oh, man. Well, this final clip, I think, is probably when Dave put the folder together for the lawyers. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Previously okay. on Dave and Chuck the Freak. I came up with the idea for a jingle where they take the words from Hot Blooded and replace it with Hot Pockets. Didn't think, wow, they'll actually take my idea. Like, is this really worth me getting all enraged about and yeah. investing my yeah. time? I'm going to let it go. But now I've changed my mind. What? And I want to go after them. One of our listeners <laughs> in Mexico messaged me, this effing commercial is airing in Mexico. I want Nancy Grace to interview Dave and oh. to see that on TV. Do you really think <laughs> you have a case, you stupid, <laughs> stupid son of a bitch? <laughs> Listen up, you whore! You annoying whore! Oh, oh sure. No, great like TV. no one else could have thought of this idea. I bet you were just looking for porn, Dave. <laughs> That was when Nancy Grace was relevant. relevant. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was 10 years ago. How right. long ago it was. That's why she was mentioned. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Well, there we are. That's where we stand. <laughs> Lisa defending her past self. Yeah. Because yeah, well, I'm like, to. why am I talking about Nancy Grace? Who knows? I think we were. She Who was knows? talking we're about the show back for then. 27 years. Yeah. It was topical, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> this show is old. Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, too bad. Oh, man, huh? Four billion, though, huh? Four, Four billion, billion is what the family. They could have cut you a check. I don't a even think it would have gone to court. Check. I think he would have. They would have just. They been just like, want us to make this man go away. Right. Give him, give him, and all the people he knows boats. You've got them in a make him go away kind of situation. Yeah. In fact, they could have just been like, you know what? Give him access to the hot pocket plane, whenever he wants it. Flying private his whole life. Give him a Bezos yacht. <laughs> That's Ridiculous. pockets money, man. That is pockets I money. I do think <laughs> what hurts you is that the pockets jingle failed so hardcorely for them. It failed so bad. Yeah, because they didn't do it right. I know they didn't. They didn't I do know it they right. Didn't. If they had consulted me through the whole process, it would have been so much better. Yeah. yeah. I had a whole campaign crafted. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Like, really, <laughs> if I was, if I started a company and I was like, I think we're going to go jingle. I think we're going to go jingle. I would 100% contact Dave and be like, listen, man, I need a catchy jingle. The I'm only here. thing that I would be worried about is that it would be another company's jingle yeah, but that, he stole. that you Took. stole in your mind uh, and mm. then just put it out there. That would be my only fear. I just want to like sit one weekend with an Excel spreadsheet and figure out what other songs can do this exact same thing, and then hopefully I can – Take down Nestle or something. Oh, man. Take down Nestle. Yeah, this was Dave's chance. This really yeah. was Dave's chance. Turned into my hot pocket nightmare. Like, he thought radio might work. No, it didn't. Um, said Dave's boat needs to be the SS ham and cheese. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> this was Damn the number right. one way. Hot pockets boat money. To become wealthy. Mm. I blew it.